Welcome to Big Topics in the Kitchen. I'm Shell. This is Kira. Yes. Today we are making chicken enchiladas while we talk about how Kira goes back and forth between our house and her mother's house. Um, how rules are different and how she kind of prepares herself to switch between households so that she can have a good week no matter where she is. So, first Kira. Yeah. We're going to talk about some of the kind of biggest differences that kind of make it confusing sometimes. I'm a mouse without no pets whatsoever. <laughs> and, and mouse. The mouse, I can't remember your goal. <laughs> I have my mom's. We have no pets. And we, I don't have as many chores, but if I do have chores, it's usually a little bit more difficult than if I did all three chores here, which can become a little bit of a problem. What are your chores here? What? What are your chores here? Um, my chores here are to clean up the bathroom, empty the dishwasher, clean my room, and clean the litter box. It sounds like a lot, but it's not. Oh, no. It doesn't sound like a lot. It sounds like a lot to me. I know. So, what are some examples of what you do at your mom's? Um, when you have them? Doing the dishes right? Yeah, sometimes. Like, very well. Doing the laundry, like not just like putting in the dishwasher, well, not the dishwasher, <laughs> putting in the washer and stuff, um, this, <laughs> um, like folding all of the laundry. One day I, I had to fold two full baskets of laundry, so like this is where the end of the laundry basket is, and the laundry is like up here. That's, that's a lot of laundry for me. Back to general differences. It's yeah, I missed. Um, what are you talking about? Just differences that both households. So okay. you said, first you said you don't have pets there, and you have pets here. And then you said you have more chores here, but when you have chores at your mom's house, they're more, they can be um, more difficult. I spend way less time with them there because um, they're always working. Um, and I sleep in a kind of roommate attic. I want to call it, it kind of is like a roommate attic. It's a finished attic. A finished attic. And the temperatures are not the best there. There so, are some other differences. What about your siblings? Um, general my rules. sister on my mom's side is a little bit more um, calm and docile. That's all the right word. Yeah. Okay, she's a little bit more calm and docile. While the boys here are a bunch of heavy yappers like my dog. So, that's a little different. We've got a little bit more of a fly problem here than we do at my mom's as a fly problem. It's a fly. music and have a little bit more freedom with my phone. Well, at my mom's, I don't have any music. Oh, another one, I, I'm able to draw in my room. At my mom's, I have to draw downstairs on the table where my parents put all of their stuff, which can become a very big problem. At my mom's, I cannot listen to music freely. We have to listen to the radio because they didn't follow the Brian and Google Moms. TV is very different because we listen to a bunch of old, um, we listen, we watch a bunch of movies that are on disc, so I can't just, I have to stick with what we've already watched thousands of times. Um. Okay, but those are just things that you like or just like about each house, because that's like, not everybody buys Google Homes and stuff like that. We do because Daddy likes music a lot, and he was a surprise, right? So you have more access to stuff. Um, something that makes me angry is about my phone, where there, even if I just get up to take a picture or something, it turns into my phone time, which can get very annoying. Here, I'm not exactly that amount of time, and... Where do you get your phone time? My chores. And it's 
stare at me. So I'm just going to let him walk around my hand. So what about, like, actual rules? Like, what are, what are your rules here? Like, you can't have your phone unless you do your chores. That's a rule. What are other rules? Um...
try not to step in the scene when I go into my room. Because um, my dog gets super mad when I leave for a week. Okay, we're going to Um, I, um, <laughs> I take a very deep breath because, um, I, my anxiety raises with all the loud noises because I go from a very quiet environment to a very loud environment, which can really strike my anxiety. Okay. So what about in terms of like how to deal with the different ways that at our house versus their house? Um, it gets a little difficult. I usually have to be here until like Tuesday to try to recuperate myself and get into the world. So, um, with that, it makes it a little bit difficult trying to go back and forth. But I also want to spend time with both parents, so I don't really have a choice. Okay, so how do you prepare yourself for going to your mom from here? I'm going to say this to dinner tomorrow. I prepare it with your quiet and awesomeness of just quietness, but then being comfortable. So I try to get out all of my energy out of here. What about in terms of like not having, because here you have, so recently, like I was home every day because I was in the work at school. It was off, just like everybody else in school. Mm -hmm. And they're like, your mom and Brian are working on So what about? Is not having as many people around and preparing for that mindset here. Sometimes it makes me kind of want to try. It's like I want to try sometimes. What about the different rules? Like when um, you go there, what do you have to do to remind yourself of the rules that you challenge? Um, what does it um, take you time when you get there too? I think the time when I get there too, I'm preparing for a lot more grumpiness because my stepdad gets very grumpy from my little brother since he has crying issues, it cries over everything like Ambrose. I've got a little brother that's sleeping right now. Ambrose doesn't cry that much. He does. He does He kind of like tripped over him and then walks, and then he's like happy again once he hears Gabriel in the other room and is chasing after him. If I tripped over you and you were sitting on the floor, you would cry too. But I wouldn't be happy the second I hear my little brother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's a difference. How do you prepare yourself for remembering the rules? Um, with their house, I have to remember that I will get in big trouble by saying certain things and doing certain things. For example, I'm chewing with my mouth open. I know because I'm so used to being forced at my mom's that it's just something that has that key in my mind. Is there anything else that you would like people to know about what you do to cope with being between houses? It's rough, and if you do that with your kid, if they come back in a completely different mood, you just gotta remember there's differences. There are lots of differences. Go stop it. Bye!